Welcome back, everyone. We. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? What? Uh, okay. We are going to Harlow's base. And we're taking. We're taking Felix and. Let's take Pavati with us. She could use the exercise. Help the chairman and minister Clark defeat her foes. Um, I'm not sure I want to. I, I still don't trust the board too well. I mean, considering I'm kind of working for the board, or supporting them, in a sense. I mean, I did kind of side with the board in the first, uh, the, the first planet. Ooh, outlaws. Hi, outlaws. Hey, you. Looking for something? Yes, I am. Where do you think you're going? Felix Millstone's with me. Clyde Harlow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Sweet! Got my sights on you. Calm down there, Aimbot76. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I saw a vending machine over this way. Or, you know, maybe, uh, maybe there's nothing over here at all. <coughs> hey, I remember that ship. I remember some of that cargo. Is this? I think this is. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to switch the uh, friendships to Mary. <laughs> but yeah, I think I know who this person is. Oh, he's actually in the uh, the building. Okay, let's go in the building this time. <laughs> This place is clean. I like it. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. That machine stole my bits. Why do we even have one of these? Are you sure it stole your bits? Nothing to do but stand around and watch the stars go by. Hey, man, that sounds pretty relaxing to me. <laughs> Get the light animation, the heavy animation. 23 shock it, shotgun. Cool. Level 21 plasma rifle. Bloody hell. Uh, melee weapon skills, determination, dodge, weapon range. Ooh, nightingale step. Yes, please. And then let me go ahead and sell some of this stuff. Yeah, sell the level 10 heavy machine gun. Keep you for now. Wait five, wait three. Sell you. And you. Sell you and you. So, oh, I'm carrying. Yeah, I'm carrying 91 pounds of Raptor Don meat. <laughs> oh man, I think I need to put some of this away. Um, 
see here, 18% for actual health. That's all good. Do I lose way too much? Is that, is that what's keeping me up? Or filling up my... Uh, Modifications. Yeah. Sell some of these mods. Um, what else? Is oh, well, these might be taking up quite a bit of weight as well. But it doesn't really look like it. Oh, well, 11 times 2 is 22 pounds. So, yeah, let's go ahead and sell some of these. Let's go. Wrong way. Ooh, a terminal. Harlow's crew terminal. Logs, acquisition logs. Cat's meow. All contraband pharmaceuticals. Brought down, salvaged cargo, ransomed crew. Ooh. Getaway sticks, <laughs> subversive literature, <laughs> brought down, salvaged cargo crew joined up. Freighter werewolf, haul engine parts, summary brought down, salvaged cargo crew jettisoned in the skate pod. As usual, we, are, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures, our patron pull through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. So who is this patron, I wonder? Crow, I'm beginning to wonder about our quote-unquote patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Interesting. Look at last entry. Pirate code, rule number one. Harlow's the boss, rule number two. Fuck the board! <laughs> you can say that again. Fuck the board. Rule number three, why are you still reading, pig? Wake up, if you see me as the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why, because life's a game to you? Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purple berry flavored opium. Fuck the rules, and fuck the terminals. It's not a revolution. We're using the weapons. Wait, it's not a revolution. If we're using the weapons they raised against us time and again, from the front lines of the riots to the corporate sit-ins and error document pirate's code has exceeded character limits. <laughs> it should have just ended with Harlow's the boss, fuck the board. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Oh, hey there, buddy. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. This is awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Mm, tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. 
I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Ah, is that so? <coughs> you want to put him through a test. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did this Trask do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Hmm, is that so? What do you think, Felix? Clyde offered me a hand when nobody else would. I'd say I owe him a good turn. There you have it, Captain. A favor for an old friend. All right, we'll all take care of it. We get rid of this traitor for you and I'm in? I mean, assuming I want in. We're building a new world together, Felix. You'll want in. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Hmm. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you never back down. What do you mean had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an <laughs> argument. You see what I have to deal with? I should go then. I don't trust you. I have a feeling, and this feeling is telling me not to trust this bastard. People change over the course of a year. A lot can change in a year. Believe me, I uh, <laughs> fucking thought I knew what I was doing with YouTube at the beginning of the year, but no. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. But now I do. Hopefully. Hopefully all is good in the world. Actually, where will uh, my videos end up in a hundred years? <coughs> that is a good question. God damn it, this, this whole game is making me think about the future, making me feel feels that I don't want to feel, because it's too feely feel. <laughs> well, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Ada, is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> uh, let's see here. We'll put you away, and put you away. Equip you. Um, put you two away. Um, I don't think that's it. So, let's go back to Fallbrook on Monarch. Uh, 
there. It says we can go to any of these, so let's go to Fallbrook. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Thank you, Ada. So, I'm kind of curious. Comment down below what uh, what you wouldn't. How do I phrase this? What a person would do to make you suspicious. Because for me, it seems like this uh, Clyde, I think his name is. Can't remember his name. Editing, what's his name? Did I get it right? This Clyde character still wants to uh, get another. Well, he did say he was old friends with uh, Felix. But it seems like he's going to start a war against the board. And it seems like it's not going to end well, if you know what I mean. Alright, let's go this way. All the way to the next day. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, I should probably fetch more ammunition. Just so I don't run out. I mean, I have over 5,000 rounds, so I have a feeling I'm not going to run out anytime soon. But still, it's nice to have ammunition. Catherine Malin could sour milk just by glaring at I mean, I have about 25, 30,000 bits to spend. Not enough. <laughs> Which is uh, much more than the 10,000 I needed earlier in the series to get two more. That's what happens though. Miracle on the frontier. Deserters forced to return by heroic strangers. <laughs> the salvation of Emerald Vale. I'm never going to stop feeling slightly bad about <laughs> murdering, <laughs> murdering the, uh, the manager on uh, Emerald Vale. Oof, 750 meters that way. I have a feeling. You know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. What makes you say that? Well, you got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up, though. You know that, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> It's all made up though, right, Felix? Terra on Monarch. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, right. Yeah, right. Next you're gonna tell me House and Helen weren't based on a real person. I won't tell you that, no. You seem happier in your ignorance. <laughs> he is happier in his ignorance. Here we go! Get him. I heard that headshot. Nice shot there. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. <coughs> but on that note, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I do hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you tune into the next video where we. Yeah, 
now where we hopefully make uh, make our way to a Manta Queen. And kill her. <laughs> Truce.